In this example, I'm going to show you how to, um, you know, set up a scenario where you've got a desk that uh, uh, you want to search, and um, the desk is going to be an openable container. However, uh, people will try to do things like they'll try to look in the desk or um, or search the desk, and what those really mean is open the desk and look in it, right? So um, let's try to make a, a, all of those different ways of expressing that thought of let's open the desk and look at it um, work in, in this example. This is a little bit different from searching like a, an NPC, you know, you, you kill a guard and then you search the guard. The guard is not a container. This, this is a different case. This is we're trying to search a container and we want to have like look in the container uh, and search the container, both kind of perform that action of open the container and then look in the container. Um, so why don't I make a function here and I'll call it search desk and I'll print add. I'll click add here and let me, I'm going to select this. Uh, okay, look, I added a stub. Find an item by search or search a container such as an openable desk. There we go. All right, so now you're going to change the desk to be your thing uh, and change this, change this here. But what this is doing is it is going to, um, if the desk is not open already, it's going to open it uh, for you. So let's save this. And now let's wire it up to a sentence here. So now I'm going to say um, when the verb is search and the noun, the first noun is desk, then I'm going to call my search desk function. I'm going to click add. So now there's a desk here. Okay, search the desk. You open the desk. The desk contains a shiny key. Cool. So what we did was we just created our own open function. Close the desk. All right, what if we search the desk again? Search the desk. Okay, take the key. Okay, search the desk. What happens again? The desk is empty, right? So we, um, so what we did was we made our own kind of look in function. Now let's type, let's try that again. And let's type look in the desk. The desk is closed. Okay, so then, then we might say, okay, just open the desk. So that actually, that actually kind of works. Um, now, what we could also do, sometimes people um, might want to, maybe they say when they examine the desk, it should indicate whether it's opened or closed. Um, so we could even create a function called examine desk. All right, so let's examine the desk here. And then we'll, um, we can say if the desk is, let's see, if the desk is open, and uh, PR tab tab, uh, the desk is closed. The desk is open. Now, normally when you, oh, okay, so then, then let's make a sentence out of that. When I examine or look at the desk, I want to call my examine desk function instead and click add. Now, normally when I examine something, I get a description of it, but um, that's not going to happen here because we're going to override it. Now watch what happens, right? When I run this, I say, okay, look, the desk is here. Uh, let me examine the desk. The desk is closed. Okay, open the desk. Okay, there we go. Examine the desk. It says the desk is open. Maybe we want to do something like print the desk is open and then look in the desk. There we go. That'll work nicely. There's a desk here. Okay, so let's examine the desk. The desk is closed. Open the desk. Okay, examine the desk. The desk is open. The desk contains a shiny key. So that's that's a way of, um, of kind of changing the description of something based on whether it's open or closed. And the 
the kind of the the downside or the reason I didn't do this initially is because like I just thought you know if something has a description that description might be important and you don't want to just because something's a container force the description to be the containers open or the container is closed so so there's an, an example of just how we can kind of set up a scenario with a desk. So now we can, you know, if we examine the desk, okay, so now it tells us whether we should open it or not. It's suggesting we open it. And if we search the desk, then the desk contains a key. But we could have also have typed look in the desk, and that works as well. Um, and that, that worked. We didn't have to add any sort of look in, look in the desk function. Um, so that, that, that works. All right, so wait, what if we, oh, I know, I know, I shouldn't go off the deep end here, but all right, let's, um, so if I type look in the desk, the desk is closed. What if I do something like this? I'm going to make a check, check look in desk. So when I try to look in the desk, I'm going to say if it's closed, I'm going to open it. If desk, uh, okay. So if the if the player's trying to open the desk, if noun one is equal to the desk, and let's say and the desk is closed, uh, desk dot open. Let's open it, and then let's print maybe. You open the desk. So what we're going to do here is, we um, if the, we detect that the player is trying to open the desk, and the desk is not open, then we will open it, and then the uh, command should process here. So let's type. Now let's go to look in here, and I'm going to add my check for looking in the desk. There we go. So look in the desk. And let's launch that. So let's type look in desk. You open the desk. The desk contains a shiny key. All right, there is actually, oh, so, so I had print, I should say print line. P, PR tab tab expands, expands to print line. So there what I did was I snuck in this little check that says, hey, when I'm looking in the desk, when I'm looking in something, check to see if that's the desk. And if the desk is closed or it's open, it's, it's not open, then just sneak in there. You open the desk. And then, and now that it's open, the look in function will actually work. So that's kind of a cool little feature right there. So now if I type look in the desk, instead of it telling me that the desk is closed, it opens it for me. So that's kind of cool too. All right, so there you go. There's, there's examples of how to make a, like a desk or a, a container that's, you know, openable. And now we can have examine search and look in all kind of direct that player toward um, the act of kind of opening that thing and getting out whatever's inside it.